Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. This tutorial will look at how to create a speedometer chart in Excel just like the one you have on your card dashboard. Now speedometer charts are fantastic at measuring uh, performance just like they do for your car and what we would like to do is create one from the data on screen at the moment on this spreadsheet to show the number of stoppage wins for UFC fighter George St. Pierre. Now we have our data on screen that we're going to need. Excel does not allow you to create a speedometer chart as a preset option. It is not a default chart. So we will need a combination of a donut chart and a pie chart to get that working. The donut will be the background. The, that's your kind of uh, speedometer uh, chart itself, if you will. And the pie chart will form the needle on it. I have the data on the spreadsheet as mentioned. We have some dial colors set up, uh, all measured to 360, a perfect circle. The first one being used for the, the bottom, it'll only be half uh, you know, a semicircle with this, uh, this dashboard, and that will be broken down into three sections of three colors. Then to form the needle, you know, the first 180 degrees taken out the bottom half again, the needle will be uh, too thick, and this is a distance before and after that needle formulas in there to to perform the calculations based on actual information here 54 percent of George St. Pierre's fights have ended in stoppage based on this data these will be the areas that we actually chart from it uh, please check out the the written tutorial to find out a bit more on these, these formulas and how they work up so now we're going to focus on creating this chart and the first thing we need is the donut. So I'm going to select the range that I need, getting straight into this, A2 to A5, insert tab, other charts, donut. The donut chart will appear, and the first thing we want to do is make it a little bit larger, this kind of chart area. So I'm going to resize the chart a little bit higher, and I'm going to grab the plot area of the chart, and resize that a little bit smaller. This is because we will need some room for uh, data labels at some point, which we're going to need to insert with text boxes. We're creating a room in a chart area ready. Then we need to rotate this. This big 180 degree one needs to be at the bottom. So I'm going to right click on that chart, format data series, and change the angle of first slice by 90 degrees to get that at the bottom. And now I'm going to hide it. So I'll click on that one slice to select that one individual slice, part of the donut. Right click, format data point, and I'm going to set the fill color to no fill. I will then do a similar thing to the colors of the donut to create the colors which I wish. Um, you may decide them colors are perfectly fine and be more than happy with them. I'm going to have red kind of yellowy amber and then a green so I'm going to click on this green one right click format data point and choose a different fill color kind of yellowy color for me and a similar thing to this green click on it in I go fill uh, solid fill and a green color now with my donut forming the upper part of the speedometer like I wish just a few more changes this chart area for the donut I'm going to right click the chart area and format that and I'm going to take away uh, the line around the edge and I'm also going to remove this legend the legend is absolutely doing nothing for us there I'm going to select that and delete and that donut should be complete next up is our pie that will form the needle for this I'm going to select the data B2 to B5 here insert pie chart then we're going to be doing very similar steps the first thing once again will be to resize it a little bit higher then to select the plot area and resize it a little bit smaller I'm going to go straight in and make this chart area uh, transparent again so I can see through it to the donut behind that'll make this job a lot easier format the chart area no fill and I can see the donut behind it. So now I can click the plot area again and make this pie chart as 
best I can match the donut behind it. Uh, this legend on the right can disappear again and then it's time to change the angle again. Right click on the pie chart, format data series and see it's very similar steps now, 90 degrees to switch it round so the 180 degree parts at the bottom ready for removal click on it to set that one individual slice right click format data point we'll have no fill for that bottom half and then we're also going to take out the fill colour for these colours surrounding the needle so we're left with just that needle which I'm going to take a step further and I'm going to change the colour of that to a black Oop, missed it. Let's undo that step. I've changed the wrong data point there. Let's just format that again. My undo doesn't seem to be working. Got myself into a bit of a bit of a mess. No fill. I'm going to go to my layout tab to try and make that. See series 1.4. Let's get that a bit more accurate. Uh, let's get myself in here. Come on. Give me uh, what I need. Yeah, series 1.3, format selection. That was far more difficult than I planned it to be. But I have a black needle now. So going on to my final steps, we wish to put some data labels on here. For that, we're just going to insert some text boxes. So insert text box. And time to draw them in. First one, 0%. And we can position them as desired. And I will then recreate that for each text box in turn. The one there for 50%. Now these can be formatted and positioned and everything as per your requirements a bit of a repetitive task here you can obviously copy and paste uh, this, these boxes to help us out speed up this uh, little task if we wish 75% let's get that in there and finally we'll have one to indicate 100% I feel this is a little bit of a, a rough rush job for this video hopefully it looks okay but that is our finished speedometer we've got some text boxes on there indicating the different sections our different kind of labels needle representing around 54% there uh, a beautiful speedometer chart giving us a big wow factor for our dashboards just like your car dashboard so people can instantly recognize with it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please check out some other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com